that shit is on. So who the plug? Yeah. My partner, bro. So what do you do? You the middleman, right? Yeah, I, I like tell them they got no. Are you the middleman? Yeah. Yo. Okay. Get in the west end, quicker than taking with an investment. I want that back, kinda like checking. Finna keep texting the plug, like checking. I want that cash. Hit them up desperately. I definitely had nothing to eat. My pride don't really mean nothing to me. Nigga, fuck what you think. I'ma jug everything I can. can, can. And I might get a dog, no cap. And I might get my dog a strap. And I might pick, pick all to rap. And I might take it off these raps. Think that money be changing my mood and shit. I be thinking about what I'ma do with it. I be having them dreams about getting it. I be having nightmares about losing it. Hold on, bro. Start over one more time. I be up in the air like I'm Superman. She the swoop, I'm not swooping it. No, I'm not judging it. Do what you do and then do again. What you be doing it? Hit me back up when you do it. And fuck, man, this shit ain't go through again. This shit was supposed to go through it, 10, bro. Oh shit, bro, we just hit. 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 Oh shit, and it looked like a few bears. So that was Demarcus Paul's entry into the E Feast video contest. Uh, it's something we put together over like six or seven days. The video contest is still happening right now. It's 50% fan voted and 50% judged. So if you want to see us make a finals video, go ahead and head to efeast.com and vote for us. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. And, you know, it, it only if you like the video, only if you want to see us make another, uh, watch all of them, vote for whichever one you liked the most. There's some fucking epic videos on there. Garrett dropped a video. Colin Varignac, uh, Dan Crux video is totally fucked. Foley's is awesome. So watch all the videos. If you enjoyed our video, if you like it, vote for it. Uh, hopefully we get to make another one. We'll see. Not sweating it either way, really. But I figured I would go ahead and kind of break down the video and I get a lot of tech questions on the cameras I use and, and what we should do with the channel. And I just figured this was a cool opportunity to kind of break down uh, that video part, even though it's only 60 seconds and it's not really a full video part uh, and on how, how it was made and uh, any insight I can give uh, just to the section itself and people that want to film video parts and maybe they get something. I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a video part filmer. I don't do it very often just because... I am, I'm pretty busy overall and, and video parts take a long time. I mean, you get a clip a day and that's uh, pretty okay. You know, if you get three clips a day, that's a damn good day. So I just don't necessarily have the time to dedicate uh, into a full blown video part and filming all the time. Um, so it's, it's pretty rare for me. I have done videos, of course, over the years, but um, my main focus is kind of the quick hit content uh, that you see on the channel a lot of the times. And I let the guys that uh, really love it and are able to dedicate that time into making video parts. So um, with that, you know, asterisk on it, take what I do and my advice with a grain of salt because there's much, much better guys out there than me. I guess first off, I should show the camera that I use for 90% of, of DeMarcus's video and 90% of, of all the videos I make is basically... Uh, a camera that most people don't really know about, and it is a Z-Cam E2. It is actually this little guy right here. Uh, not very big whatsoever. Obviously, it has a bigger footprint when you start adding a bunch of stuff onto it. Um, why I chose this camera was actually was actually due to a man named Jim McKay, um, a filmer and a filmmaker in Austin, Texas that rides BMX. Uh, we both had the same setup and then he bought one of these. And then a few months later he bought another one and I asked him what he thought about it. And he said it was great and he was not wrong. I've had this camera for about 10 months. Uh, it is relatively cheap around the $1,500 range and it films uh, 4k 120 frames a second, 10 bit. So like a high, high quality 10 bit does pro res, all this other stuff, I won't get into it too much. It is a micro four thirds camera. So uh, if you are looking for a full frame camera, this is not it, but uh, that doesn't really bother me that much uh, for what I do. So obviously it is just a tiny little box. You have to add a monitor, which needs a battery and you need a microphone and you need um, a lens. And I have lens rails on here, uh, mostly for the fisheye setup. And then cables are a mess and everything else because uh, I generally change the setup a lot. This is definitely my main camera. The second camera I have is one that's filming right now, and that is a, a Panasonic GH5. 
Uh, usually it has a, uh, usually it has like a Viltrox adapter, like a cheap adapter and a Canon 24105 on it. Um, but I also, oh yeah, that is this one right here. Just a wide uh, image stabilized lens for that. And sometimes I also throw this big boy, the Canon 70 to 200 on there. And then kind of jumping around here a little bit, um, the lens that I pretty much keep on this camera, unless it, I, I basically only run two lenses on the E2. It is uh, this Olympus 12 to 100. Uh, it's an F4 lens. It is image stabilized um, and it's actually crazy how stabilized it is. Uh, none of the clips in DeMarcus's uh, section that weren't on a gimbal were used on a tripod or anything like that. Um, pretty much just all handheld stuff for the long lens. And uh, and, and that 12 to 100 range, uh, again, not to get too geeky, but uh, essentially on this camera, that means it's a 24 to 200 lens. So the, the, the range that you can zoom in on uh, is is pretty incredible with that lens. So it's basically like a do-all lens versus like, uh, you know, the 24-105. It, it is close, but not quite the same specs there. Fisheye-wise, I run the Canon 8-15 to with a higher quality Metabones adapter. So I have the ability to to kind of zoom in and zoom out to make uh, my fisheye as, as most distorted as possible, mo as the most amount of barrel distortion you'll see uh, I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later, but that is my basic setup. I do run a Ronin S gimbal um, with the dual handle setup, um, just be coming from the Ronin M back in the day, having a dual handle setup just works so much better for me. I, I can't do it with a single single hand setup with skating and, and rolling along and, and stuff like that and being low. You just need as many points to grab as possible. So one of the other things that I do is I pretty much always run an ND filter on the long lenses. It's a uh, variable ND so you can see it turns and it uh, gets darker and so I can keep these same settings and essentially I, this is how I just adjust this exposure. Um, and so I have two of these. This uh, They are SLR Magic variable ones. This one has been beat to hell. The one that's currently on this camera right here is the newer one. This one's absolutely murked, but it still works. And then on my fisheye, I bought like a, it's called a Aurora thing where it, uh, Aurora thing, uh, Aurora ND filter bracket thing. So I can actually run a high quality glass filter on the back of my fisheye. Um, because obviously running an ND filter on the front is actually uh, nearly impossible on a, on a wide angle lens like this. It would have to be like this big in front of the lens to actually run an ND filter. So uh, back filter is way to go. The, the glass setup right here is actually kind of expensive just because it's so niche and not many people actually use them. Um, but I, in my opinion, it's worth it. That concludes geeky camera tech and what i did is go ahead and put a raw timeline together of uh, kind of just what our day-to-day -day was filming with demarcus and and kind of show my process and talk about a couple of things and kind of what just happened um when we were out filming so i will go ahead and hit play if i'm screen recording which i am so let's go ahead and hit play i'll pull the laptop in Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. So first spot, first clip of the entire project. Uh, almost get kicked out like yeah, right I away, but uh, yeah, as I said, passive kick out. Oh, let's get rid of that thing. So filming with Demarcus is actually pretty damn chill. Um, he doesn't really want to be shown spots he he knows what he wants to do and and he's pretty on point with that stuff so i kind of just go hey what do you want to do and he has a spot lined up uh the first clip that we filmed was this gap to switch ice to bar um the rail is actually pretty bent you'll see it on the long angle but there's him pulling it uh that one i mean i i meant to count the clips beforehand but I mean, that was probably, he probably jumped in the rail like 30 or 40 times to get that done. You can see the bend in there. So that's what kind of made it pretty weird. Um, and then obviously I t 
totally botched the the long angle. That's always a I was trying to compose it as tight as possible and I just just blew it basically. So that that didn't make the full edit. I was pretty bummed about that. And then these are the roll-ins. Um, I kind of intended for this to be the first clip of the video, um, but it didn't really work yeah, out. Be good. Uh, you know, those those cuts in the beginning where he's kind of popping in on different streets and stuff like that, but it just didn't really work how I intended. And then, uh, but, you know, that was the very first day of filming, and I kind of knew that I was being a little ambitious trying to, to tie everything together right from the beginning. So um, this day was... Uh, was a not a good day for us uh demarcus uh, called out this roof gap or this roof derail which was um you know i would say pretty out of character for him uh but he sat up there for like 10 minutes and was like no this is no good let's let's just get out of here which is totally cool um i think i put a clip of us talking about it uh, a little bit later that uh just that I don't care if, if he doesn't actually do it. Like, if he's not feeling it, then that's cool. Um, so we went from that roof to rail to this pegs, gap pegs to 180. And, and DeMarcus has actually done this before. Um, he showed me the clip. He did it at night. Uh, and, and it just turned into a fiasco. He was just... Uh, You're awake. Yeah, he, he fell. Uh, obviously not bad, but... Um, it just it just didn't work whatsoever it just was just a totally off day and we ended up uh, getting you know we tried like I think he tried like 50 times or something and just the how close his bars get to the wall um, really freaked him out that day and the security guard was kind of nagging and then uh, I think I think maybe this next clip yeah, you can see that guy walk out. Mr. Fancy Pants is what I call him. You guys could not do that. I just opened the building this week and I have to repaint it, so appreciate it again. Those shoes. Repaint what? What are you talking about? Oh, the same rails that have been there for the last few years, they're the same. Yeah. Haven't been repainted anything. Yeah, so just as DeMarcus said, the, those rails have been exactly the same for literally years. Um, and it's no big deal. So the security guard came back out and was like, hey, yeah, you okay, got to go right, because uh, my boss fellow, says that it? you can't can't do this. So <laughs> security guard was super cool, but um, he gave us one more go. And then DeMarcus literally just did like pegs, pegs twice. And we're like, oh, like, you know, we kind of linger a little bit longer. And usually when security is nice and uh, we don't linger, but. What's in the water? I have a tumor here. I have a oh, tumor. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> San Diego, Sorry. downtown, always produces. I feel bad. This is the one. So, right. bef before we totally move on from that, um, obviously I was using the gimbal that time around, and uh, it was kind of hard to kind of compose it. Like fisheye gimbal is a little bit hard to really to to get in there, um, and but because I was taking a few steps, I felt like the gimbal was the right move. But you'll see when I come back the next day that I actually just switched to handheld, and I, and I think it turned out way better. Um, and and that's pretty much. I don't think BMX filming should be perfect, perfectly smooth all the time. I think it should be a little more raw. Um, all right. But you know me, I'm not sweating it. I know, like. Not, I'm not saying I would never sweat it, but like for somebody that I know, and it's not like you're, it's not like you're like uh, going there, going like, oh, I'm out of range right now. Like, yeah. Like that shit happens when you get on there, and you're like, all right, I got a bad, yeah, a bad thought in uh -huh. here, and I can't shake it, then it's done. You know? Yeah, I like, guess not. I've been there. Literally with that. Yeah. So that that's talking about the roof, uh, the roof derail setup. Um, because he was, I think DeMarcus was like apologizing for like not um, being able to do anything that day, you know, like not getting any clips. And it was just like, hey, it's, yeah, it's no big deal. It's not like it, exactly what I said. It's not like he wasn't trying. So um, not a problem whatsoever. Sorry if I, I don't, I feel like I'm getting a, a weird pop every once in a while. So hopefully that's not actually transferring through. So this is, I think, two days later. 
um, I set up this uh, second angle to kind of try and show the bars um, and how close they get to that pillar um, right there, what's in focus. And then this lady kind of showed up. And at the time, I kind of thought she was smoking crack because of the way she was popping that first thing, but it didn't happen. But just normal, normal uh, downtown San Diego weirdness. But. And that was like a few tries in. And then it, it ended up being definitely more tries than Dima wanted, but. And then you can see that there it was right there, obviously. And then I had him do uh, a, a couple of cheater, just peg 180s so that I could splice in. I think I ended up using the first one in the actual video. The second one got a little loose there. And then Demo uh, was thinking that he wanted to do tires, bar, manual 180, I think, or I'm not entirely sure, but it was just a couple of goes and then and then he got over that. I think he was just <laughs> done with that spot anyways. And I think he actually posted, literally did it for the gram a little bit later. So, um, which is totally fine. Uh, this spot is at a school, which is a school that just keeps on giving. But um, I think this is one of my favorite clips of the video that uh, just, just the fish eye, the way he popped it and then the overhead angle uh, that you'll see in a little bit comes through. Um, but as you can see, he was like, not even, he, I mean, he wasn't looking he, like he wasn't trying to spin this 270 and then literally like the next clip, he just like pops the fuck out of it. So fight more for the, the ice pick. Like actually, if it gets shaken, just do a fight. For it. Boom. There was a, it, I mean, you'll see our reaction. So oh, that was hot. That was <laughs> How did that come out of like nowhere? That was like, it's not, it's usually happened though, it's like dude, that I'm was like, that was like surprising. Yeah, that was unreal. I thought you were gonna try that one, but I did not think. Shout out to Tire Eyes Co Tired oh, Eyes Coffee damn. in San Diego. So That's Tyler. Though. That's the guy that owns that. So that make easy, if you need coffee, so ride our own it's coffee it's shop it's with like sick in in, in downtown San Diego on Fourth, and then they deliver coffee as well. So. It worked. That was beautiful. Oh, so it was switch ice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Regular ice, regular 270, but opposite 90 and two the ice pick. Like, the first all I did was a double peg. That was all. That was regular turn, but opposite stall. This one. Oh, my mind. Was opposite, opposite turn. <laughs> Stop talking. No. <laughs> Mark's literally just like confusing the shit out of me, but I get it now. But in the moment, I was like, I just his his rotations and and the way he rides is just. So we found the, so obviously we were happy with the fisheye clip and then um, Demo's always super good about just like, like, yeah, I'm, I'm chilling on it. I'll do it, whatever. Um, was, and so he was, was down it. to do it again and right. thought it could cut in pretty well. Um, you could see that obviously he did it a bunch more, but it took a while to get like the pop that he wanted. Like not that one either. That was it right there. But it's just the way it comes in and comes out, obviously, from a film nerd standpoint, I, I was pretty hyped on that. I think that's my favorite clip of the video. And here's some more additions to trying to do that uh, the intro clip. Um, I really did want to use that one, but it just ended up not panning out the way I, uh, I, it fit together. It was like a little too bright compared to everything in downtown, so I just let it go. And then this whole place um, is just a basically a glass building. I think you see it in the next clip. But if you know me from photo stuff, like reflection photos, I always geek out on it. If there's a puddle nearby, I, I make sure I, I at least give it a proper glance. Um, but just the, those pillars and the glass building just really just made the B-roll aspect of it just like, like endless, essentially. Like you could nerd out all day there. Like, like that's just cool. I was a little bummed that I trimmed him right there, like clipped him and clipped the top, but a little shaky rail. The spot is unreal. Glass building, there's rails there. Like, there's another 
another clip of it. I don't think that made the video though. It just didn't. You're chilling on that. Too much, you know. And then more B-roll. And honestly, I pr I would have preferred using that clip than other than the one, except that, of course, you can see me in there. So that's me again. That's me filming this clip. So uh, uh, not you know no no gimbal whatsoever. That's literally just how stable that lens is. There's no. Uh, and it, all these clips are like completely raw out of the camera so there's no stabilization like you can see how uh how stable that camera is yeah, or how that yeah. lens is so and this is obviously a gh5 clip and i think that's what the 70 yeah, to that. 200 maybe i'm pretty sure and then more reflection shots just kind of cool the way things line up um i think in the video i like kind of trimmed these so that the gap where there's like a little nothing right there is a little shorter um and then tires no hander fucking crazy word but demo wasn't happy uh so he tried to do it a bunch of times and this is actually my least favorite clip of the whole video i just felt like i kind of fucked it like i i, I don't know low light so my my camera is definitely kind of struggling color wise and then um, oh. I just could have done better. I think I was trying to get a little too artsy, but that was end up being the clip. But he still wasn't necessarily satisfied satisfied with that one, so he still he still tried one or two more times. And then he, I think we I think we looked at the clip, and he was okay with it. And then he's like, "Oh, just just film this one more time." And then he tried. I think this is a clip. Yeah, he was thinking tires three. What? And he's like, oh, never mind. Like, I, I think spinning off the, because he, he hit the kink, and then it just, like, doesn't doesn't feel right when his back wheel is still, like, pointing up. is still in the middle of the rail, but but filmed a quick tires 180. Um, actually, not quick, you'll see. But that was that was first try. <laughs> just messing up the rollout. <laughs> I was on the side of the... And then, so you'll notice on like this clip right here, there's like some some vignette in the corner, um, even leaking in on the side there. I kind of do that on purpose, so um, when I come into the video itself, I can uh, either use a little bit of stabilization and not lose any fisheye effect, or if I don't need stab stabilization, I just kind of crop in on it just a little bit just to get rid of that, and it's uh, you know nobody notices any any quality. Uh, loss or anything like that and actually the the feast contest was the highest resolution was 1080 which was weird and, and so but i filmed this in 4k so um you know from a again from a nerd standpoint um always a little bit of a bummer to see your your footage look worse than it actually is but hopefully you know, it looks decent on youtube at least little three banger at the end of the day about banger, boys. yeah so that was a good day. Yeah, no, that. I don't. I don't want to film oh. you. We're going. We're going right through there, sir. If you come. Yeah. If you just come or like near him. Yeah. I just don't want. I assume you don't want to be filmed. So. Yeah. So. We filmed everything we wanted to film, and then security kind of rolls in pretty hot. Um, one dude was pretty nice. The the dude that was just in that shot was pretty grumpy. Uh, but I. You know, like I said, I could have stayed there until literally my, the footage was unusable, and I would have, uh, and I would have kept trying to film B-roll just because it, the glass building just like kept that there was so many angles for stuff that uh, I felt like it, it would have been probably potentially getting something else. But I I asked for one roll-up clip, and then the guys were kind of grumpy, and it was like didn't really work. And I was like, as even as demo was going, it's like I'm not going to use this, so um, I just let it go. So. Um, this is essentially my, uh, gimbal fisheye setup. So you can see the Z cam there. Um, those silver bits are counterweights. Uh, I tend to leave them on the camera all the time, just so I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, some adding them in, or if I decide to put the camera on the gimbal, just to make the time, the, the time to switch that stuff uh, out as, as little as possible. So, uh, whoops some behind the scenes crap yeah so there's the monitor um i run the the gimbal upside down um the 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 mic placement is insane but it's whatever and then um yeah big old battery on the monitor two hands on the gimbal 
the full that's pretty much the full fisheye rig so uh and this was a hot day this is it, i think we skipped i think we didn't film for a few days and then like a heat wave came in so um just a quick other side and then that's a gh5 shot with the 70 to 200 and then this was the first attempt so he almost pulled it first try i was gonna say that better first try <laughs> and then i actually put the old uh not the old uh, the new uh gopro max the newish gopro max aka the kook camera uh on the gimbal just to kind of show a little bit of perspective on on how i film uh this stuff and kind of just you know relative brutalness i guess of the gimbal hat on or shirt on the head just to block the sun <laughs> so um you can see me kind of shimming through i'm pretty much like rubbing my butt up against the back of the rail just to not lose my placing that's essentially what it looks like glamorous there's me running into the rail on that one, so definitely not perfect. <laughs> so this wasn't too brutal. Um, as you can see, like there's definitely a couple where Demo was a little bummed he didn't throw the bars, but Shit. Well, that was me. <laughs> that was me bummed, but he, that was yeah, he said that one was perfect. He should have thrown him. Not that one. Not quite there. Not quite there. So yeah, that's, that's uh, this spot is one of the uh, another super old one. I literally filmed clips uh, there when I was like 18 or something. So it's actually been around for like 20 plus years. But um, but yeah, Demo killed that one. Definitely a dope clip. I don't know if you can see in the clip. And then just a quick run up and that's this is a gimbal shot so if i'm running with the camera it's definitely a gimbal shot so just a quick run up um that was probably the the olympus lens on the gimbal and I, that one made the video um this wall ride was that it was the same day was he wearing just the same clothes or not i can't remember demo sometimes changes his shirt so i kind of got more look at the shoes i think it was a different day I don't know. Um, yeah, kind of a chill, dope setup, but chill wall ride. Uh, that intro clip, I definitely wanted there to be a little more movement in the foreground than there was, but I just liked kind of the, the, you know, starkness of super wide shot. Something that wasn't else, and something else that I didn't necessarily film as well. Um, and then a couple run ups. He actually, it was filmed fine, but I felt like he was like going slow, so I just made him do it again, just pedal faster, just just for dramatic effect. <laughs> And then fisheye, first shot, horrible, get my shoulder in there. Second done, still okay. And then from the back. You filmed it amazing. Like, I just want to, like, pull off and make it look like a Michael Matt should try. Like, I'm going to try. Okay, work. Like, and then obviously color balance effort. got a little weird on the fish clip, yeah. so that kind of sucked matching like them up. easy. No. <laughs> And then a little bit of b-roll i felt like i didn't really have any b-roll and then i was just filming that and dino was like oh, i'll throw a sticker up there and so I, I you know just for just logistics wise had the sticker in his hand backing was still on there didn't actually go up and then that one's there <laughs> and then that was the end of the video so um we just felt like ending the video kind of on a uh on a mellow note we didn't really have like a you know banger banger it was a qualifying section. Didn't really know what we were getting into, so um, that ended up being the kind of the chiller end clip. And then uh, this was actually the last. So I put the timeline together, and I was like, oh, we kind of need one more clip. So I think we filmed this whatever day the voting opened. We filmed this the day before, and then I finished the video um, that night and then uh, uploaded it in the morning. So sorry for those computer pops. It's super weird. A um, little bit of artsy stuff. So Demo actually wanted to go from this side and smith it, um, but it wasn't working. I think the rail like had a weird lean in it, so he just switched sides. And then literally like the first hop, he was like, "Oh, there it is." And then um, you obviously know he Smith 180'd it, but he said he just wanted to smith it. The Smith 180 
Um, I kind of thought he, he probably would do it, but uh, that wasn't the original trick. He was just like, oh, I'll just, over, I'll just smith this rail. And so he did that. That was pretty. <laughs> and then he literally went, went back and then just did the Smith 180 perfect. Like I was actually, you know, caught a little what off guard. Fuck? <laughs> there's, there's tired eyes again. <laughs> just run it back real quick. And then he totally laces the bunny hop bike flip. <laughs> so that was the last riding clip. Um, from there, from literally from that Smith rail, we just went downtown. We cruised around. The idea obviously was that he would, you know, kind of be cruising kind of the same position. So you notice that right foot's down, left foot up. Um, and then uh, kind of keep him in the middle. And, you know, I did this pretty loose. It definitely could have done it a more official way uh, of measuring and, and, you know, marking things, but didn't really feel I needed to for like the four or five seconds that, that I, I, I needed for the intro. So um, I'll show kind of how sloppy it is. Uh, there's definitely, I mean, it definitely could have been done better, but um, for what it was, I think it was fine. So, But it just kind of overshot it. Like, oh, like if I felt like I had like eight or ten that I thought were good, then I knew we'd be fine for the four to five seconds that we needed for the intro. So and then obviously we went back to the pegs to pegs yet again. So he stayed, he goes, so the idea was that he would go from that, that's that static position that we, um, you know, we determined the right foot down and then he would go hop you know like kind of wait uh kind of do it last second to give me the most like movement and like not like a natural thing for him um but but again demo being the professional that he is and then let's go to the actual timeline which is a actual shit show just so you know before you judge me i use final cut pro I used to use Premiere, but I just, it was a little miserable for me. Um, and now I'm, I'm regretting saying that. Maybe because my hard drives aren't connected. Oh, no, we're all here. All right, we're all here. So the only dead clip is the actual um, the intro for feast but that's fine so i'll go ahead and show how um these lay out so this is this is the intro clip here another one kind of pops in and uh let's see so that one is at 105 percent the next one is obviously at 98 percent and kind of tilted to the side so that's super weird um, like obviously it doesn't work. And then this one is not only is 105% and like l has some black in it, but it also has, it's also been like rotated it as well. So the goal obviously was to keep those, those things like that. And even then he, he still is a little bit weird, but, um, yeah, so that's the idea. And then, so this is all its own, uh, and Final Cut calls them a compound clip. And then I take that clip and I zoomed into 126% because, again, this is a 4K video. So I could technically zoom into 200% and I'm totally fine. So uh, zooming into 126% isn't that big of a deal uh, if I, and, and then I have a full clip in the middle there. And so that's how that kind of so works. So what do you do? You're the middle man, right? Yeah, I, I like telling the guy, no. Are you the middle man? Yeah. So, so that's that is that that's the intro um everything else kind of basic color correction i'll turn it on and off so you can see the difference that's out of the camera that's just with some with some stuff done i added some stabilization so you can kind of see the vignette go in and out and then uh kind of the same thing the whole way through same as uh this one's probably the same this was definitely a struggle with it being super bright out there and in the shade everywhere else um, but zcam does okay with it so what else interesting in here uh kind of the 
the cut the cut with the song so the, I think the colors on this one compared to out of the camera definitely changed a lot uh, and that's you know you can kind of I don't know if you if I should nerd out this much but you change the shadow colors you change the shadow exposure you change the mid-tone colors you change the mid-tone exposure change the highlight colors change the, you know so and then the color temp and everything so that's what this has such a dramatic difference between how it came out of the camera versus that and that's because you know it's reflecting off of some glass um you know you can kind of see where where i made it quicker than uh what it was so um let's keep on going I be thinking about what I'm gonna do with it. I be having them dreams about getting it. I be having nightmares about losing it. Hold on, bro. Start over one more time. I be up in the air like a Superman. She the super. Oh, this clip. So, um, as you can see, I, as I told you, I, I basically botched the shit out of this clip. Um, did I, is this the one? Did I do it in here? I think this is pretty much the raw clip. Uh, it stabilized a bunch, basically, um, way more than I normally ever do. That's definitely a lot. Uh, you can kind of see if I if I turn it off, how much it comes comes in and out. And then in this, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So you'll see that these those wheels in the top right right here. Um, the the I'm trying to remove a rotation that I put in the camera. Um, obviously, the goal is to not. Uh, clip his hand as as much as possible so uh, that's part of the problem as well so I couldn't go as far as I probably wanted to and then this is the only clip that I filmed in 120 frames a second because Demo didn't like that first no hander uh, how quick it was and not extended so being able to slow-mo it just a little bit makes a little bit of a difference for him but uh, again you know it's doing what it can so um with with my mistake of course you know uh and again, sorry for those pops. I, I feel like they're coming through. Hopefully I can remove them when I actually edit this. But um, what else we got? They do what you do and they do again. What you was doing, they hit me back up when you do it. If I'm in, this shit ain't go through again. This shit was supposed to go through it, Tim, bro. Oh. oh, I got a misclip there. But um, so again, color difference. Definitely a little more green all around. More pop. Um, even this clip was a little bit weird. I think I stabilized this clip too, but I just like had a small movement in there that I didn't, do what that you I didn't do like that, that down movement. Do what you do in so like the, see how the, the grass is level right here. And then all of a sudden it goes down. I didn't really care for that, but nerd stuff. I don't know why that clip is missing. So apologies, but, um, this clip pretty straight out of the camera there. Just kind of adding some blacks colors are on point. And then, uh, yeah, this is the one where the, the the colors there were on point, and then this it just got a little orange. I don't know if the sun going down, and then uh, all all lenses have their own color cast that they do. So had to kind of tweak that one. It looks okay, but I, I feel like going from that clip to that clip, there's a lot more orange in the in the asphalt and stuff like that that I just didn't get rid of. And even from, I mean, it just. Is annoying when it it just doesn't line up like that. So, um, that is pretty much about it. Um, every other clip was filmed uh, 60 frames a second. Roll up clips are 30 frames a second or B roll. Um, and then that one no hander was filmed 120 frames a second. I tried to film in ProRes as much as possible, just because that's the highest quality that the uh, Z Cam films in. And I wanted to, you know, for a project like this. Uh, quality is the key whereas if I'm doing you know something like this uh, doing it fast is the key and, and easy so you don't need to 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 worry about that all that much I mean super flat lighting is not a big deal you're not dealing with super dark shadows and blown out highlights and all that stuff so um, not a big deal but making doing ProRes on a shot like this or that it does end up making a uh, pretty big difference that in what you can do and and how the how how the overall 
image looks after you color correct it. That is it. Uh, hopefully the nerd out session uh, was educational for you. And if you liked the video, like the DeMarcus, DeMarcus's section, you know, head to efeast.com. I'll put a link at the end maybe of the video if they'll let me or in the comments or the description and go ahead and vote because um, it's 50% fan voted and 50% judged and the fan votes are pretty wild right now. So we could use a couple votes to make it into finals and make another 60 second video and we win some money and if this video does well and people want me to do one for the finals video, I will do this again. So enough of me talking. I appreciate you. Bye.